Alright guys, so uh, I just sold my old laptop. I'm at the mall right now. And yeah, I'm about to head on home. I'm about to test fit the BBSs. So, I'll catch you guys when I get home. Peace! So right now, I'm testing my BBS's out to see how they look when it's aired out. Alright guys, so right now my boy Blaze, he shot my Civic SI video. He's going to come just to do a little quick snippet for me. So it's going to probably be like a one minute snippet that I'm going to put on my Instagram. You know, but it's only going to be on this one side because I don't feel like changing all four. So it's only going to be on this one side. And it's just going to be a nice little quick snippet, you know. Just something clean, real quick. So I'm gonna change the back, and then I'm gonna change this one back here, and then we're gonna put on the other wheel. See how wide this shit is? <laughs> Yo, this shit's gonna look sick. I love BBSs, but I kind of want more of like a aggressive wheel. So I might be selling these or trading these. I'm not sure yet. But I BBSs are like one of my favorites. But I really want to get my hands on some uh, CCW LM5Ts, man. So the BBS's are on now. Um, they already they look good. Yeah, you see how much it pokes. And so we're about to find out how it actually looks, guys. Alright guys, so I just did a quick uh, video shoot for my S2000. Uh, I should be dropping a video soon, so if you guys want to check it out, Make sure you go on my Instagram page, Phil, with two L's underscore S2K. I'll be dropping it there. God damn, you guys can't tell me this S2K don't look that good, yo. So, uh, yeah, see here, it's not going all the way down. I think I need to get some uh, camera bolts or whatever, some type of adjustment in the front area. And then, it's already like aired out right here. So, that's the fitment. Alright guys, so, ah uh, man, I really don't feel like putting back on my stock wheels, but I got to. It's a lot of adjustments that I need to do to make this car look good and to fit the proper way. So, yeah, I'm going to have to adjust the front end camber and get everything situated there. So, see you guys in a bit. About to go swap the wheels back. Top down kind of weather. It's like, nah. It's brick as hell outside. But I had the, the top down from when I was doing the video. But um, I just put my wheels back in the storage. Now my car is back on stock, uh, I said stock suspension. It's definitely not on stock suspension. Um, it's back on the stock wheels, so yeah. I just feel like having the top down. Don't heat, don't judge. Uh, yeah, I love this car, man. Listen to this bad boy. You guys ready to hear something cool? Whew. On the ground we go. Oh, shit. I can't see. Oh, oh it's too bright. Oh, damn. Who's this guy in the camera? You look cool, brother. You look cool. All right, I'm going to show you guys a view on it, of it out on the outside. Alright, so it's back on the stock wheels. I got my front lip on. See, the cool thing about black is I could get away with the lip not being painted. But I'm gonna paint it. I actually got a lot of compliments today. So I actually got a lot of compliments today. My mailman was like, yo, I've never seen a car like that before. I'm like, yeah, it's a Honda S2000. Uh, it's not too many of them around. And especially in my area, there's not that many of them around. So for someone to see my car, it'll probably be out of the norm. And then it's a Honda, you know? And then my boy who was just doing my video was like, yo, I've never seen one before. So, you know, it's a cool car. It's really small, but it's a cool car. 
All right, so I did something out of the kindness of my heart. I guess I was feeling generous today. So a guy walks up to me and he's like, you know, my son is in, he just got out the hospital. The taxi man is um, down the street waiting for us. I'm just trying to get some money to go home because I don't have it. That's a, no, that's a known common excuse that most uh, people in my area use to get money. But he didn't seem like a fiend or like a drug user. So I just kind of just felt bad. I don't know why, but I was changing my wheels. So, you know, I was just like, you know what? All right, I have $10. So I gave the man the $10. He was very grateful and thankful for it. So it kind of made me feel good about it. But I don't know if he was lying or not. So I did something kind today. So hopefully God returns something to me. Because, you know, I'm in need of $10 now because I don't have it. So anybody got $10 they can lend me? What's going on, everybody? So I picked up a new radio for my S2000. I didn't like the fact that um, the radio, it had an aftermarket radio in it already. But I didn't like the fact that it didn't have Bluetooth. I didn't like having all those wires running all throughout the cabin because, like I said, the car is small. So I got a radio that had Bluetooth capabilities. So right now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be installing the new radio that I got that has Bluetooth capabilities. So that way there's no wires. I'm very, like, particular about things being neat. I don't like things to just be in my way. I feel like if there's things in my way, I feel uncomfortable. I don't know if anyone else is like that, but I know I'm definitely like that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll show you guys what I'm doing right now. Let's start the day. And here it is. Just pull it out. So now I just got to remove all the wiring. And then we should be good to go. Alright, so I went to Best Buy and I picked up this wire harness for the S2000. Once I realized that the guy who had the S2000 before me, he had an aftermarket radio in there already. But he um, didn't use a wire harness. He basically spliced the wires from the stock harness and put it inside. Me personally, that didn't look neat. And... I'd rather just do it the proper way, so I bought a harness. It was only 16 bucks. So if you guys have an S2000 and you're trying to, you know, swap your radios out, just make sure you go get a harness. Don't do shortcuts. Alright guys, so I figured out what my problem was. But beforehand, I just uh, retaped everything and just made sure all the plugs and shit was proper. So one of the fuses at the bottom was blown, but I already knew that, so I swapped it. And got a different one, but the one that I got wasn't the correct 15. So I went and got a different one that was like the exact same of what was in there. And the radio had cut on. So I'm going to, I already took everything back out because I tested it. So now I'm going to place everything back, wire it back up. And um, yeah, everything's clean now. Everything's with the proper harness. So yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like. And there she is. It looks good. It's matching. Orange, orange, looks good, right guys? So I'll set it up in a minute. Let my car warm up. About to head home. Holy shit, that's way louder. Yo, this radio made like a uh, fucking bajillion times better sound now like this shit sounds crazier so uh, maybe I don't need to do speakers but I still might add speakers to the back here but like in the plastic part add like two like nice size speakers but keep it like discreet so it's like not gonna be too big but this radio definitely made a difference alright guys I'm heading home I'll catch you later peace